What up everybody, Jason from JTV Life. You know, today I feel like eating some pizza. So I'm about to hop in the Hot V6, go out to Trader Joe's and show you how to make my favorite no prep, well, semi-prep, Neapolitan pizza. Let's go. So if you're new to the pizza game, Neapolitan pizza is like a real rustic, old school pizza cooked in a wood fire oven. That's why we got that pellet oven. And then it's got a very basic composure. It's just a real low moisture dough with some fresh San Marzano tomatoes crushed on top. We're gonna to be using uh, some canned tomatoes, doing a gringo style here. And then it has fresh mozzarella cheese, which is typically made from Buffalo's milk. I'm sure the stuff at Trader Joe's is probably good old fashioned moo cow milk. And then some tomatoes and fresh basil. Let's go grab this stuff. All right, let's make this quick. First thing we're gonna grab is our dough. Make sure you get two, buck forty nine each, not a bad deal. The most expensive thing is the cheese right here. It's five ninety nine a log, but that's what makes it what it is. All right, so over here they're all out of the bruschetta that I normally use, so I'm just gonna improvise at home with some Italian tomato paste and diced tomatoes. Don't forget the wine. All right, so now that we're back at home, we just gotta let that pizza dough sit on the counter for about an hour, and then we're gonna divide it into two. Each one of those one pound balls will make two pizzas inside a backyard pizza oven. After our dough's been on the counter for about an hour, we can go ahead and flip it out of the bag and onto a countertop surface. It is gonna be kind of sticky, but don't worry about that because we're gonna reform it into two nice little balls. Throw a little flour, not too much, in the top there. Kind of just work it around, get it so it's not so sticky. Just folding it on itself. Now we're just gonna have it. You can do this with a knife. Having a dough blade like this really comes in handy. And now it's gonna form it into a ball on the tabletop. Once the dough balls are formed, we're gonna put them in some bowls. You can really use whatever size bowls you like. The bigger kind of the better, it gives it some room to expand. I got these Ikea salad bowls, they're super cheap and they're stainless, so they come clean. So now we're just gonna put a little bit of olive oil in each of those bowls, just a light coat to keep that dough from drying out or sticking to the bowl. Now that our dough balls are prepped, we're gonna put a little saran wrap on top of these bowls, and let them proof up on the counter for three to four hours. This is a very important step. It's gonna make that dough really easy to stretch out and also light and airy when it bakes up in that hot oven. Next, we'll prep this sauce, super simple, just some diced tomatoes and a little bit of tomato paste. Kind of helps thicken it up. Also fortifies those real strong tomato flavors, which make this pizza so simply delicious. I just kind of do this by look, just thicken up that juice that comes in the tomatoes a little bit. Also add about a tablespoon of olive oil, about half a teaspoon of salt to that. Of course, you can go more or less, 
on any of these ingredients. Tastes good to me. Well, it's been about three or four hours maybe and the dough is looking ripe. It's time to get this pizza party underway by lighting off the pellet pizza oven. Today we're using the Change More 13 inch insulated pizza oven. Link in the description below. And we'll be fueling it with some Pit Boss Competition Blend pellets. Love the chase and the hunt, and I set the pace when I'm running. I always take what I want, and I always give it 100. Don't need a bank, no, I'm funded. Play the game like it's nothing. I'm always thankful for something. Don't take for granted, stay humble. Now wake up, it's time to look at the enemy. Look in the mirror if he is no friend to me. It's not working now, maybe it's the chemistry. It's time to break up. So While the oven's preheating, we'll go ahead and prep the rest of our ingredients for the pizza. I got a tomato. This particular tomato is from this place called Legacy Farms. It's down in Mexico and they are really good. Whenever these come around our store here, Lucky here in California gets them, try these things out. We're gonna go ahead and slice that up and then we're gonna open up our cheese. It's already sliced. I have a plate right here that has some paper towel on it. We're gonna put the mozzarella slices we take out and slice tomato on there, dry it up. We don't want our pizza sopping wet going into the oven. Cutting these tomato slices about a quarter inch, quarter inch thick. And this should be enough toppings for our two pizzas. These Neapolitan style pizzas, you don't really load them up with a bunch of stuff. It's more like the simplicity and the quality of the ingredients that takes this thing home. All right, our oven's just about where it needs to be. It's at about 850 degrees right now. We're gonna go ahead and toss this dough. Dusted the countertop surface with a little bit of flour. A little bit more for the top. This is gonna make it less sticky and easy to work. And with Neapolitan pizza, really any pizza, you don't wanna be popping the bubbles in it. Kinda of just stretch them out towards the crust. We're going for somewhere between 10 and 12 inches with this. See how easy that dough is to work when you get it to room temperature? You gotta be patient with this. It cooks in one minute, but the prep work to lead to it is a little bit longer than that, but worth it in the end. Now that we got our shell rolled out, we're gonna go ahead and put it on our peel. You wanna make sure that your peel's nice and dry before you try to do this or else it will not land properly. Semolina is kind of what you wanna use. I didn't have any, so I got some cornmeal. Cornmeal works really good too. Just kind of gives it a little bit different texture. Once we have our pizza shell on the peel, it's crushed to work quickly. So have all your ingredients ready. That way it doesn't stick. So to put the sauce on, I just pour it out of the container and then I use a brush so I can get it nice and spread and kind of on the thinner side. Enough sauce right there. Next, we're gonna go ahead and put on our toppings. Now 
And then right before I put it in the oven, I like to squirt a little olive oil all over the whole thing. It's time to put this pie in the oven. I'm gonna finish this off with some fresh basil. I got growing out on my front landing. Haven't really had good luck growing basil. This is like my third plant of the season. All right, let's go ahead and cut this up and see what it tastes like. I like to cut these pizzas into six slices. Or if it's just for you, do four. All right, let's see. Amazing. For a pizza that literally costs under five bucks, this is awesome. 